My next guests are two of the most popular Canadian performers. They hit the big time in the United States since, of course, Robert Goulet and Sergeant Preston of the Yukon. <laughs> Uh, their album, The Great White North, is a huge success in Canada and is quickly becoming a hit in this country also. From SCTV, please welcome the Mackenzie Brothers, Bob and Doug. Wait, hey, hold it. They're doing the thing. Okay, maybe everyone will do it together, eh? Okay, go. Good day. Good day, everyone in the lower 48. I'm Bob McKenzie. This is my brother, Doug. How's it going, eh? Okay. I... Okay, like, this, this isn't our usual one, eh? Like, we couldn't bring it across the border, eh? Yeah. Yeah. You know why? Because there's, like, no Great Lakes on it. Yeah, they miss the Great Lakes. <laughs> but they got Hudson Bay, eh? Yeah. Okay, our topic today is gas shots. Yeah. Okay, so this is one. Okay, another topic. Oh, oh yeah. Are we, uh, like, oh, have an... You know what? What? Like, there's no back bacon in the lower 48, eh? Yeah. Lower 48 is like USA, eh? Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, should you want to explain? Yeah, like, these are linked sausages because you don't have back bacon. We're in a restaurant. Yeah, remember? Oh, yeah, okay. And, like, uh, we asked for back bacon, eh? And the waitress said, like, take off, you hosers. We don't have any of that. <laughs> and we said... We said, okay, wait, wait. So we described it, and then she said, oh, you mean Canadian bacon? And we said, oh, yeah. And, uh, and then we, we figured out that you call back bacon Canadian bacon. Yeah, but up in the Great White North, we got something called American cheese, eh? So, like, you call that down here back cheese. <laughs> we have an announcement to make, uh, like, we're defecting. Yeah, down here. And... Yeah. The re the re Not really. The reason is that, like, you, you, you don't have uh, government beer stores. You can get beer in grocery stores any time of the day or night, eh? Yeah. So that's why we're coming. Hey, you know what? <laughs> we, we went to a place in uh, British Columbia, eh? That's over here, out there, closer to Hawaii. Okay, so we, we're, down, we're out there, eh? And, like, there's a building. It's got on it NBC, eh? So, like, we go in. We say, hey, we do our show, hey. So they, you know what that was? It was the Nanaimo Bulldozing Company. <laughs> really. So that shows you how stupid he is. Take eh? off. <laughs> He's a hoser. Anyway, so that's beauty. So that's, uh, that's our guest shot for today. Yeah, eh? those are all our topics for today. So good day. Yeah, good day. Eh? <laughs> very nice. You boys did a very nice job. <laughs> Very nice. The McKinsey Brothers. Uh, you know, I, I, in all honesty, uh, I've watched your show for a long time and, and loved it, but I did not anticipate the kind of reaction that Bob and Doug generated They're all here. paid. All yeah. of them. Uh, you got your, do you get your checks, Severin? Is this, is this? How, how long have you guys been doing uh, the Great White North? Two years. Yeah, yeah, two years. It started as filler on the, in the third season, which was a half-hour show. It was still syndicated. Uh -huh. And then when we went to network, I think at first the network said, what? And then uh, when they saw the mail, they said, yeah, more, more. So, no, but we, you refer to it as filler, uh, and what exactly did that mean in those days? Well, the half, <laughs> the half hour show when it was syndicated was two <laughs> minutes longer in Canada than it was down here. There were less commercials it was running on the public network. And they wanted something called Canadian content because the government uh, legislated that a certain percentage of, of, Canadian pr of programming in Canada be indigenously Canadian. Mm -hmm. And that affected radio and, uh, and ultimately television. So. We said, well, gee, they wanted the extra two minutes to be Canadian. We said, isn't the rest of the show Canadian? We're from Canada, and the show's mm -hmm. done in Canada. And they said no. So we said, uh, how about if we sit there and uh, drink Sorry. beer and fry back bacon and, and Sorry, wear tubes? Sorry, I was thinking about myself. Yeah, I thought mm -hmm. so. No, uh, but see, I was surprised that there would have been something uh, intrinsically funny about Canada. I mean, after you've done jokes about hockey and so on and so forth. But these are apparently the... I have to say that the reason I'm wearing this is because we've been doing interviews all day as Bob and Doug, and uh -huh. as ourselves. His and the, hair puffs the, up The two goes on and off. Oh, that's not bad, actually. Oh, the hell with it. See, his hair is more manageable. I don't know why. It's a fascinating discussion of hair care with these two gentlemen <laughs> from north of the border. Uh, but uh, so now, are the guys you're depicting here, Bob and Doug, are we to, to believe that Canada is just full of these kind of... Uh, <laughs> um, guys? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, hell no. You never see one up there if you, if you went looking for them. 
Uh, and uh, we're still searching for the humor there. I, th uh, I think that there's uh, guys like that somewhere. I mean, he told me about it. I, I just took his Wait, word. Oh, you're doing. <laughs> you're just. You're they're, just. They're like that everywhere. They're they're all over the states too. They yeah. just don't. You know. You call them crackers. You call them what? what, what you know. They're I mean, just uh, dumb guys. Like you don't call them hosers. Right. They you call them. Now what else. is a hoser? Can we talk about? <laughs> there's that? one right there. <laughs> you're looking at it. No, a hoser is something you call your brother when your mom won't let you swear. Mm -hmm. Say, if, yeah. if your mom happens to be NBC, yeah. say. Now, uh, how, did, how did the Canadian uh, government and folks react to uh, the popularity of these two guys? Well, they nominated us for the Order of Canada. <laughs> so It's a serious award, uh, uh -huh. uh, David. And I See think my we hair. Bow our heads at this point. Do you, no. Are you of the opinion that, that Canada has, and I don't mean this in a negative way, but are they operating under some kind of inferiority complex to oh, the yeah. United States or generated by the United States? Parts of Canada. Quebec has no problems. They have a strong culture. Uh -huh. The West is rich. Yeah. And Southern Ontario just kind of sits there watching television in Buffalo going, why can't we do that? <laughs> <laughs> of course. It's kind of like living in a, 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 sh a little one story shack next to the World Trade Center, you know? Yeah. No, but so, you guys uh, are both from. Uh, Toronto, yeah, right? I love the country, you know. I, Watch, my citizenship is going to be revoked now, and I, I won't have anywhere to go. And you, you're continuing to do the television program now from Toronto. I guess yeah, we moved, moved it to it Toronto. East a little bit. Uh, Rick, you are the only member of the television uh, group uh, that did not come through the uh, Second City workshops and so forth. And you were actually at one point pursuing a career as a stand-up performer, somebody who just goes out and, and tells yeah, jokes or whatever. I did do stand-up for uh, a little while in Toronto, and I went down to Los Angeles to try it. Was that fun? I lasted for five weeks, yeah. and um, at one point, I, um, very bizarre, sort of a subculture going on down there. I was standing in front of the comedy store at one point, and there were two aspiring comics there, and their world was like, that was, that was it. And one of them came up, and, and the other guy said, where were you, man? You were supposed to be on at 9.30. <laughs> the guy said, oh, man, you're not going to believe what happened to me. I was backing out of my driveway, and damn it, I, like, I took the car out, and somebody hit me. <laughs> and I got out of the car. And this lady got out. She was beautiful, tall, blonde lady. She got out. She showed me her insurance. The same insurance agent. <laughs> and the other guy said, hey, that's a good panel. <laughs> I figured, OK, okay Time I better, to leave. better yeah. get out of here. It's, it's interesting, though, that uh, uh, the group has pretty much been operating away from mainstream show business and thriving. You, has that been beneficial or a hindrance? Dave. Oh, hi. Uh, <laughs> I yeah I think it has uh, been beneficial. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not you know David I I who can tell unless we ever get a chance and crack at the big time. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, uh, you know there are no diversions really in Folks, Edmonton. He didn't hear the question. He's winging it now. <laughs> He does this all the time. You improv guys are quick, though, There's aren't no you? There's no diversions in Edmonton. I mean, you know, literally, things close down early. Now, there. what happened? What happened? The salad bar closes at 11. Everyone's bad-mouthing Edmonton. No, we don't want to bad-mouth Edmonton. Edmonton's a great place. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. all right. It now, is. Uh, the last time I saw uh, David, you had a f broken a finger. Yeah, and it's almost better. Yeah. I'm still working he on it. He busted his finger. Uh, we were doing a sketch, Walter Cronkite's Brain. And he was, uh, he was, he was playing Walter Cronkite, and he had to do this thing where he, he pulled out in a Corvette and did a, a four-wheel skid. Yeah. And came back to pick up me waiting there with my golf clubs as David Brinkley. So he, he rolls up, he rolls up, and, and uh, we wanted to get the take, so I said the line, but I looked at his hand, and it was hanging there, you know? And anyway, they lost the take, and, we, and they stuck us in a van. We went right to University of Alberta. Uh, medical center, and we're there as Cronkite and Brinkley <laughs> in the emergency ward. And uh, you know, the doctor comes up, and I say, "I think my friend broke his finger." <laughs> <laughs> Just get some X-rays. I'd be happy to take care of it and get back to the shoot. <laughs> we're kind of in a hurry. I hope we can get this over with. Speaking so of, they're, speaking they're of which, we have to get this over with. Gentlemen, thank you very much <laughs> I for can being smell here. A segue Rick Moranis, Dave Thomas. Uh, we'll be right back. We we'll have to pause for station identification.